security personnel. It's five months to the November governorship election in Ondo State, and the INEC chairman leads an entourage from the commission to a meeting with members of the Interagency Consultative Committee for Election Security. Top on the agenda is the presentation of the security situation in the state by the state police commissioner. At the moment, we don't seem to have challenges as it relates to election, apart from the usual crimes that are being committed and are localized to the various senatorial districts. I, we, in, on, on the side of the police, we realize that we cannot do it alone. And that is why we have the support of every security agencies and members of ISEC in the state that we move together as a team to tackle building election uh, crises. On his part, the ILEC chairman underscores the importance of collaboration among the various security agencies. He also appeals to stakeholders to mobilize residents for the ongoing continuous voter registration for the collection of the over 200,000 uncollected voters cards across the state. I want to assure registered voters in Ondo State that they should continue to put out in their numbers to register and come out and collect their PVCs from the current registration. But we also have literally over 200,000 cards uncollected from the last exercise. So we encourage people to come and collect their PVCs so that they can cast their votes to whoever they wish to vote for on election day. Before I conclude, let me say what I've said consistently, that INEC is not a we don't have a candidate in the Ondo governorship election. The choice of who becomes the next governor of Ondo State is entirely in the hands of voters in Ondo State and will protect their choices and will protect the integrity of the process. At the end of the meeting, the island chairman inspects some voter registration centers in the state capital. There are currently over 20,000 new registered voters in Ondo State. This is in addition to the over 1.5 million voter cards collected in the state during the 2023 general elections.